Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we need to find out the reduction formula for integral sine power nx dx. Fine. And also, we need to find out integral sine power 4x dx. Okay. Fine. I know this is a bit tough. I am going to go a bit slow. In case you feel I am going slow, you can increase the video speed to 1.25 or 1.5. Okay. And also, I have today with me uh, Krishna, who is going to ask doubts in between. Okay. Chalo. Now, let's keep going. Now, the first step. Take i n as integral sine power nx dx. Okay. Fine. And this one, this integral, I took it as i n. Now, what does this mean? See, here I have sine power nx. Means, power is n. That's why I wrote here i n. If power would have been n minus 1, then something else. Fine. i n minus 1, something like that. Okay, this I'm going to use a bit later. Okay, Achha, I forgot one more thing. Here the condition for n is n is greater than or equal to 2. Fine, this condition is important. Okay, fine. Uh, now next. Next what I'm going to do is we are going to write sin power nx as sin power n minus 1x into sin x. Okay, sin power n minus 1x into sin x. This is totally okay. Why? Because we know that this is just uh, x power n can be written as x power n minus 1 into x power 1. This is totally okay. Fine. Into x. Likewise, sin power n x can be written as sin power n minus 1 x into sin x. All good. Hello. Now next. Uh, I have a question. What is integration of sin x? Krishna, what is integration of sin x? Yeah, minus cos x. Integration of sin x is minus cos x. Fine. So, fine, let me just write it down. Integration of sin x, integration of sin x is nothing but minus cos x plus constant. Fine. Integration of sin x is minus cos x. So, derivative of minus cos x will be sin x. So, derivative of minus cos x will be sin x. Fine. This means that in place of sin x, I can write derivative of minus cos x. Fine. In case you did not understand, it's a simple thing. Fine. I'm going to write this sin x as derivative of minus cos x. How? What is derivative of cos x minus sin x, right? So, derivative of minus cos x will be sin x. So, in place of this sin x, I'm going to write this sin x as derivative of minus cos x. Now, why you will understand later why I'm doing this? This sin x, I'm writing it as derivative of minus cos x. And this dx is there as it is. Reason is there in front of. Fine. Now, in integration, there is a concept which is known as integration by parts. That is what I am going to use right now. Okay. Fine. Let's see. It's a simple one, but you need to be alert and attentive to understand it. Okay. Now, what does this mean? As per integration by parts. Okay. As per integration by parts, integral u of x into v dash of x dx is nothing but u of x into v of x minus integral of u dash of x into v of x dx. I know you did not understand anything. Okay. From this formula. <laughs> Fine. I just read it. I'll explain each and every term slowly. Fine. Whenever there is an integral of the form u of x, okay. Whenever there is an integral of the form u of x into v dash of x. V dash of x means what? Derivative of v of x, okay. Derivative of v of x means there is one function and it is and one function u of x into derivative of some other function dx. Whenever there it is of this form. Now, if you'll observe, if you'll observe, this i n is exactly of that form. If you'll see, if you'll see, let me use some other color. Uh, let me take green. Now, you see this u of x, this sine power n minus 1 x, okay, sine power n minus 1 x. This is nothing but u of x. This is nothing but u of x, okay. And next, if you will observe, this is v dash of x. v dash of x means what? Derivative of v of x. That means derivative of some function. Here I have, what is that some function? Derivative of, here I have derivative of minus cos x. So, that some function v of x is nothing but minus cos x. So, my v of x is nothing but, my v of x. This is nothing but my v of x. Minus cos x is nothing but my v of x. Okay. Fine. So, if this is the case, I got my u of x, I got my v of x. This, this if it is in this form, that's what I have written. Integral sin power n minus 1 x into derivative of minus cos x dx. Same for, same fashion. It is there in the same way. Same way. See, integral u of x into derivative of v of x into dx. If this is the case, what is the RHS? 
RHS is nothing but u of x into v of x. That means sine power n minus 1x into minus cos x. Fine. That's what I have u of x into v of x minus minus integral u dash of x. u dash of x means that derivative of u of x. That means derivative of u sine power n minus 1x. Okay. And then into v of x. What is v of x? Minus cos x into v of x dx. Okay. I hope it is clear up till now. Fine. Chalo. Let's keep going. Now derivative of sine power n minus 1x is nothing but n minus 1 into sine power n minus 2x into derivative of sine x cos x. This cos x is already there. Now see here there is a minus here there is a minus. So minus into minus will be plus. Okay. So that's why I got a plus here. Fine. Okay. Uh, what happened Krishna? Okay. So you want me to explain how I got the derivative of sine power n minus 1x as this. Fine. Okay. Krishna has a doubt. He wants me to explain this derivative of sine power n minus 1x. Okay. Now see, you guys can also listen. Now see. Okay. Uh, let me just take a red only. Mm, fine. Now, what is, what is derivative of x power n, uh, Krishna? What is derivative of x power n? Correct. nx power n minus 1. Okay. Derivative of x power n is nx power n minus 1. Now here what I am differentiating, here I am differentiating sin power n minus 1x. This is also sin x whole power n minus 1. Okay, This is also sin x whole power n minus 1. Okay. So I can basically I am finding out derivative of d by dx of sin x whole power n minus 1. Fine. Now if you will observe this is of the form x power n minus 1. That's why this one's derivative is, this is of the form x power n. Like here in place of n, I have n minus 1. That's why this one's derivative is nothing but n minus 1 into sin x power into sin x power n minus 1 minus 1. Because in place of n, I have n minus 1 here. Understand? And then now if you'll see, if you'll see here, I'm not differentiating x. I'm differentiating sin x. So that's why as per chain rule, I'll get into sin x also. Because I'm not differentiating x power n here, I'm differentiating sin x power something. Okay, that's why I get into derivative of into derivative of sin x. Fine. That's why see sin power, I mean sin x power n minus 1 minus 1. That means sin x whole power n minus 2. This is nothing but sin power n minus 2x. I can write it as sin power n minus 2x. Okay, and n minus 1 is anyways there and into derivative of sin x dx, sin x and cos x dx. Fine. I hope everything is clear up till now. Chalo. Now let's keep going forward. Fine. Now, what is derivative? What is derivative of sin x, Krishna? Cos x. Good. Now, instead of this derivative of sin x, you are gonna see cos x. Okay. So sine power n minus two x cos x, and uh, into cos x is already there dx. Fine. Now cos x into cos x is nothing but cos square x. So I get sine power n minus two x cos square x dx. Fine. Now next. From, from trigonometry, we know that cos square x can be written as 1 minus sin square x. Cos square x can be written as 1 minus sin square x. Okay. So, in place of this cos square x, let us write 1 minus sin square x. Okay. Now, let us simply multiply sin power n minus 2x into 1 minus sin square x. If you will multiply, if you are going to multiply, okay. Uh, sin power n minus 2x into 1, anything into 1 is the same number. Okay. Sin power n minus 2x. Fine. Right? minus sin power n minus 2x into sin square x that would be nothing but sin power nx fine dx okay all good mm, you have a doubt krishna okay fine okay krishna is asking uh, how sin power n minus 2x into sin square x is sin power nx fine i'll answer it krishna see now see mm, let me let me okay see sin power n minus 2x into sin square x this is nothing but sin to the power n minus 2 plus 2x why because a power m into a power n is nothing but a power m plus n that's why sin power n minus 2x into sin power sin square x is nothing but sin power n minus 2 plus 2x so minus 2 plus 2 would get cancelled and sin power nx would remain that's why what is it clear krishna fine for krishna it is clear Okay, I hope it is clear for you guys also. Achha, fine, one thing I forgot. 
in case you have any doubts up till now okay you can just say that okay i did not understand this i did not understand this you can in the comments box it would be better if you can say that from this like from 1 minute 30 seconds to 1 minute 50 seconds i did not understand this concept it would be clear like i'll understand which part you did not get so that i can uh, clearly help you out fine chalo let's keep going uh, next uh, and next uh, where was i okay fine now next let us just split this integral fine and also n minus 1 could get multiplied to both so n minus 1 integral sin power n minus 2x dx minus here minus is there minus n minus 1 sin integral sin power nx dx all good fine let's keep going now if you guys remember in the beginning i mean in the first step i took sin power nx as i n hmm? you guys remember right in the first step so what does this mean that means i n is nothing but sin power n as integral sin power nx so integral sin power n minus 2x would be what i n minus 2 this will be nothing but see this which you are seeing this is nothing but i n minus 2 and this is nothing but i n so that's why this is what i have minus n minus 1 i okay all good now next this minus of n minus 1 i n okay this you send it to the lhs fine so i n plus n minus 1 i n is equal to this I, minus sin power n minus 1 x cos x plus n minus 1 into i n minus 2 all good Chalo, let's keep going now here just multiply okay n i n minus i n i'll get so i n plus n. so i n i n and minus i n would get cancelled so i'm left out with n i n okay now we need to find out i n actually not n i n so what to do just send this n to the rhs simple thing okay now if i'll send it so what i'd get is i n would be nothing but this would become a denominator here minus sin power n minus 1 x cos x by n plus n minus 1 by n i n minus 2 okay hooray fine we got the reduction formula for sin power n x fine but don't just celebrate totally yet i mean you can celebrate a little because we need to find out integral sin power 4 x dx also that was also asked right in the beginning fine let's keep going now what you guys can do is uh, we can just mark this as one okay now if you see i n is nothing but integral sine power n x dx now if i were to find out sine power 4 x that means n is 4 fine for here you see in place of n i have 4 that means in this form in this formula which i got in the reduction formula i need to put n as 4 put n as 4 in 1 that's it simple thing Fine, if I were to do that, so I4 would be nothing but minus sin, in wherever you see n here, just put n as 4, okay, minus sin power 4 minus 1x into cos x by 4 plus 4 minus 1 by 4, I4 minus 2. All good? Chalo, let's keep going. So, minus sin power 3x means sin, minus sin cube x cos x by 4 plus, if you see here, I would have 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 by 4, I2, 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay, fine. Okay, Krishna. Krishna, what happened? okay so you want to know how i'm going to find out i2 okay it's pretty simple okay fine see uh how krishna is just asking me how i'm going to find out i2 very simple guys see see uh in this same formula instead of n just put n as 2 okay in the same formula so instead now in the next step in the slide which you're going to see in it will be this formula with in which n is 2 okay so minus sine power 2 minus 1x cos x so that's what in place of i2 I just wrote the same formula but in place of n i just wrote 2 that's it sine power 2 minus 1 x cos x by 2 plus 2 minus 1 by 2 i 2 minus 2 fine now next sine power 1 x is nothing but sine x so fine 3 by 4 into minus sine x cos x by 2 plus half i naught okay just multiply okay now 3 into minus sine x cos x is minus 3 sine x cos x by 4 twos are 8 so minus 3 sine x cos x by 8 and then 3 ones are 3 4 twos are 8 plus 3 by 8 i naught okay fine we are coming to the end okay climax okay stay stay with me guys uh, okay what is i naught what is i naught i naught is nothing but x i naught is nothing but x so 3 by 8 x plus an integration constant fine an integration constant Whew. ultimately we are done okay we are done fine so thank you very much for staying with me up till now okay uh, 
and in case you understood okay how i explained and how things went please do come in the comments box and say that okay i understood things went well i mean i could understand so that i will understand that okay you guys are able to understand my explanation fine and in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time com coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it okay not just this topic i made uh, questions related to definite integration circles uh, theory of equations binomial theorem quadratic expressions you can just check out the different playlists in my channel or you could check out the description as well i'm sure some links could be available fine thank you